phonetics why it is important uh, and how it is uh, important when you are uh, speaking or when you are uh, when you are using your uh, language to speak uh, why do you need phonetics now phonetics is used in language language is one of the uh, major and one of the most uh, most important thing uh, that has been given to uh, is it, it's like a gift to man it's like a, a gift of nature to man where you can speak different type of languages where you see that in other culture uh, like other living thing things um, they are not being able to uh, speak they are not they are not they have a different language but not which is like a sign language but for human being languages are very uh, you have different languages now language is expression of thought and uh, by the mean of uh, speech sound uh, in, in india since 1600 when east india company started now we are speaking in english and why are we speaking in english we know that we are speaking in english basically because uh, in because uh, due to globalization and just because there has been globalization a uh, lot of globalization uh, english has become one of the most important language of communication uh, english has become our first language of communication and we always try to communicate in english right from uh, now you have seen see that uh, generally when i was um, a child i we did not have phonetics to learn we just learned speaking in english but uh, what happened uh, but nowadays uh, just because the english has gained so much importance we see that english has uh, english has become one of the major language of communication so uh, speaking in uh, in english helps us uh, us to learn different uh, different ways our pronunciation changes so that is why phonetics has come into uh, into existence uh, without phonetics it is very difficult for the person to understand uh, the spelling of the language that is why phonetics makes the spellings also very very easy now when did india start speaking english india start speaking english because in, uh, because india was a uh, colony under the british rule being a uh, colony under the british rule helped the uh, people to learn english there were english college, schools colleges missionaries where there was english was being taught uh, that is wh when in 1600 india uh, first started uh, speaking or uh, communicating with english those who were generally fond of different uh, ways of talking uh, those who were very fond of like uh, uh, speaking had uh, in speaking in english uh, started communicating started reading english books uh, started reading uh, the english newspapers that were there and uh, that is why uh, that is how english came into the life of the um, indian uh, people especially it happened only after globalization uh, only after the british had come in india now we have this phonetics is basically all about pronunciation how you pronounce different words and different things that is how your um, pronunciation is based like when you read phonetics you don't read uh, the words or you don't read the alphabets indirectly what you read you read the uh, sound now you are reading you are understanding the sound of the phonetics you are not understanding the alphabet you don't like learn a b c d as alphabets you are learning the sounds that comes into existence now there is uh, in, now what is there when phonetics come in why is phonetics been in, introduced just because you have pronunciation we see that in india there are so many languages being spoken when you speak in india you have a tendency to uh, adopt or you have a tendency to uh, put in a uh, different uh, tone of our mother tongue we put in different other tones suppose we are bengali in the english in the english language when we are speaking we have that 
tail of or a touch of our own mother tongue so that becomes very uh, difficult or that uh, doesn't become difficult it actually becomes very very funny through the speaking of english we can identify the states of the people so that is how that is why phonetics has been uh, introduced to improve our uh, pronunciation Good, for a good speech when you are speech speaking to a person if you want your language to be good if you are speaking to a couple of people in front of you your pronunciation needs to be good if your pronunciation is not good then what happens you are very difficult uh, for the people to understand that is why even for us uh, like for us indians whenever we hear a foreigner speaking or when we watch uh, hollywood movies it is it uh, it is becomes very difficult to for us to absorb or understand all what they are speaking because our pronunciation and their pronunciation and their accent is completely different so when we are watching a english movie or when we are watching a, a, a english man speak or any other person speak in english we, it takes times for us to understand that language understand what he is the language is same the words being used are also same but what happens we don't understand the pronunciation that is how it is different so pronunciation plays a very very important role now english has become very important in every medium of expression wherever you find you find that english is a must you write you speak english is a must so without english people are not being able uh, to like uh, survive they are just have to speak english without speaking english uh they are not being able uh, in, actually english has become has uh, stuck a different level of level uh, in the area of globalization and it becomes everyone to understand though chinese is the first la first um, indian uh, first world language but still english is more important than all the other languages why do you have reasons in pronunciation first we tell we generally substitute with our mother tongue we generally change or we generally substitute uh, different things different uh, our language with our uh, pronunciation we lack sound knowledge we do not have knowledge the way uh, nowadays we see that many schools and colleges have introduced um, french germany why because over here we have uh different types of uh, pronunciations coming in we do not have complete knowledge of that particular uh, so, some people tell it some people tell eight so eight and it it is considered the same thing but the pronunciation is different so that is why eight is e i g h t eight is some some people pronounces it eight so there is a difference of pronunciation now we are confused which language or which pronunciation is correct suppose we ask that uh, that which language or which part of the pronunciation is correct it creates a confusion to the people lack of notation and stress many times we find that uh, there is uh, there is um, we do not know where to put the stress means suppose we are reading a line we read the line uh, that the elections are about to begin uh, uh, is about to begin the uh, lok sabha elections are about to begin so we i am just telling the sentence straight the lok sabha elections are about to begin but there is no stress but the moment i tell the lok sabha elections are about to begin so you stress the words that are important but we generally avoid it next there is one more very important problem a problem that survives in india we don't have the speaking opportunity we speak in schools and colleges because it is made we speak in schools because it is made compulsory for us but when we go to colleges it is not compulsory we do not take the effort to speak in english but even those who are taking the effort to speak in english some people find them really funny that why are they speaking in english so it becomes like that so you don't get op enough opportunities to speak not everybody now in our class of 100 uh, students everybody needs to work everybody needs to go for an interview but they are studying english just for sake of passing but they do, uh, you, you always 
put more efforts in the writing skills. We uh, have more efforts where we give importance to the writing skill, but we never give importance to the speaking skills. But when we go for other exams, uh, international exams, we see that equal importance is given to uh, speaking also. There is a separate marks, equal mark test for English also, that, uh, speaking also, which gives, which encourages or which, uh, uh, which pushes the students to learn or to start speaking in conversation in English. Because in India, what happened, we generally avoid speaking in English because we have a tendency to speak with our mother tongue. We do not have any pronunciation rule as such. When we speak, we do not give importance to pronunciation. We speak, we just, we speak because we simply want to speak. But we are not putting that extra effort in the pronunciation. When we are putting that extra effort in that pronunciation, only then the pronunciation is correct. Next is lack of exposure to the book, uh, to the native pronunciation. Native over here is not our mother tongue. Native is the England from where English has come. And we have more related to the books. We take our books more seriously. We um, check the books and uh, suppose we try to pronounce with the books. Nowadays we have uh, Google. Google Translate, Google Speak, Google Listen. We try, but not every time we are able to uh, imitate what the person is speaking or we are not being able to imitate uh, what uh, the translation, Google Translation Translator is trying to tell. That is why for so many reasons we find that the Indian pronunciation is basically lacking a good sense. Indian pronunciation um, does not have a, a concrete base. Uh, of for language. Now in English we have many letters and sound through which we speak. We have uh, letters, we have uh, letters are the alphabets. We know we have 26 alphabets. 26 alphabets out of which there are uh, 21 consonants and um, 5 vowels. But the term or uh, the term letter refers to the symbol of language we used to write them. Term letter is referred to the writing skills in which we use the way to write and express in the paper. Sounds are produced while we are uttering the sentences. Sounds are produced when, not while we are writing, but when we are pronunciating. Now this comes the phonetics. When we are speaking phonetics, the spoken is more common in, uh, the pronunciation is more common in uh, the phonetics part. Now we don't tell a, we tell it as a. Now a, b, k, or c, k total comes k, and then p, l is pl. So over here also, what happens? There is uh, like uh, there is a difference in the pronunciation that takes place. In uh, in India, we have twenty six letters, but there are forty four sounds. When you take sounds, there are 44 sounds like K. K stands, K stands for C and K. But when we are telling K, K stands for C, K together. Now we have P which stands for P and L which stands for L. But again, when it, we write P, L, we, we write, we tell, we pronounce it as PL. So that is where stands the difference. That is where you find the difference we have only 24 letters 26 letter but there is now for e and i there is only one sound that is being produced that is e so e then when you write e so either the person is confused whether to write i whether to write e now fl f f is for f r then again we write the er we tell r er so that is how the uh, sounds def differ and we tell fl, pl, cl, cl is cl. So different ways, different places the sounds are playing an important role. There's, there is double consonant, there is single consonant, there is triple consonant. So all there is a lot of combination of consonants that are there when you are speaking. 
there you learn the phonics how you are using your phonics that is how the right from kindergarten children they are learning phonics how to pronounce it well first they learn instead of learning like the alphabets they learn the sound first they learn how each alphabet is produced like s they don't tell s they when you are telling like sat you don't tell s a t sat you tell the phonic sound s a t sat so that is how you write you tell play p l a y play so that is how you are writing the sounds that is where you are putting the phonics properly but this is also creating a problem at points like when you tell e now you they don't know whether to write e or whether to write i so for pin also p i n pin you tell p e n pin for pen also you are telling p e n pen now they are confused which to which language which e to be used at which particular place 21 consonants are produced are spoken in 24 different ways but five vowels are produced are spoken in 20 different ways so that is how it makes 44 ways of speaking your way of language phonetics is all about uh, speech mechanism how we are using our mouth to speak some we see that in foreign foreign not the foreigners they hardly open their mouth but we indians have a tendency to whenever we are speaking we open our mouth and speak we open our mouth a lot to speak so that is a difference of speech mechanism phonetic speech and language and phonetic voice are different things voice and vocalization is the sound produced by human voice lungs and vocal cords we know that our vocal cords are present without the use of vocal cords it is very difficult to use our language it is very uh, difficult to use the way we speak so vocal cords play a very very important role in communication for vocal cords uh, not in communication vocal cords play a very important role in in the way you are speaking now it is not only the vocal cords the whole wind pipe our mouth our tongue our teeth everything is related to the to the way in which we are speaking so everywhere it is very necessary that we speak in that particular way otherwise it becomes our pronunciation varies up and down if the vocal cord and larynx do not vibrate if when we are speaking out loud then only our vocal cords vibrate when we are speaking very softly the vocal cords do not vibrate then there is a whisper whisper then the sound is very slow so that is where there is a difference between the use of language or use of speech mechanism that happens now language is expression of communication now language is a expression of communication why do we speak language because we need to communicate with people Now, when we are communicating with people we have different uh, ways to uh, communicate a speech involves a lot of operation now when your speech when you are starting to speak it, it there are a lot of a uh, lot of things going on at the same time you need to speak you need to uh, press that give that sound out there's lot of a uh, lot of things going around at the same time concept is brain and brain what is how do you speak first you have a concept in your brain then the concept goes down through the nervous system and they form into linguistic codes the linguistic codes now the organs of speech they catch the linguistic codes now when they catch the linguistic codes then it is the nerve carries the code to the organ of speeches the linguistic codes are coming to the organ of speeches and the movement of the organ disturbs the air now when you are thinking something and you want to speak it is affecting our vocal cords it is affecting the oral movement or the organs of speeches where we start talking and then 
we find that it is uh, it is very uh, then then we find that uh, that is the way, time when we are speaking that is the time when uh, when we are speaking and the speaking the listener listens and then his brain decodes his brain decodes and then he understand but actual in actual sense what is happening it is happening very very fast our brain is think, doing the thinking very fast and the process also goes on very fast it does not take too much of time it hardly happen in the fraction of second think of the way you speak in your daily life do you use do you speak in slow motion no we have a habit of speaking rapidly we have a habit of speaking in a flow complete flow and all this process happens very quickly in a fraction of second so when all these things are happening so quickly so that is how our speech are being um, we it helps in our speech and we have the different organs of this of speeches now what are the different organ you have the glottals we have the dental we have the lip our tongue our tongue plays a very very important role in which when how we are producing the sounds like we have now our lips also when you in phonetics when you use when you learn phonetics you like tell p then f then that is how we are using our lips we close our lips and we give out the air we force out the air that is how p and that is how that sound comes then we tell f then we close both the lips and it open it then we tell f then we tell w then there is the sound of r that happens r we are using our we are rolling our tongue tongue to use the word r so that is where phonetics play so the whole path of the mouth from our vocal cord to our lungs the way that we are taking in air also produces uh, the different speech or the different sounds that is necessary so suppose you have played in a field for a long time you have used a lot of energy you have used a lot of your um, energy you, and you are panting and then what happens when you are panting what happens your speech also goes up and down either you are speaking in a very fast way or or your speech or your um, way you are speaking is being broken into pieces so you you wait and speak because your lungs your uh, flow of air is very fast so when we see that suddenly after a after a match the players are taking uh, being taken for an interview what happens the speech goes up there is a lot of panting that happens and when the panting happens that time what happens the speech the sound the speech is also which is produced is very different we have people those who speak through their nose those are nas nasal uh, sounds and that also happens when when people are using speaking through we tell it is speaking through their nose the air is coming out of the nose we seem to catch our nose when we are speaking so we seem to catch the breath when we are speaking the time when nasal sounds tend to come out now we have articulate for, for phonetics which deals with how speech organs work together we have all the speech organs where uh, uh, how and how it works articulation is the movement of the speech organs and how it is working together in speech sound in english we have a term which it which is known as phonemes phonemes is the smallest part of the english spoken language we tell p p is the smallest sound that is being produced p a n pen p e n pen so each each word each sound that is being produced is known as a phoneme sound it's p e n pen so each sound is that is a small sound is a phoneme sound voicing means physical production of vibration of the vocal cords now you told that when the vocal cords are vibrating that is the only time when you can speak properly vocal cords is the only without a vocal cords the vibration of the vocal cords the opening and the closing of the vocal cords only helps you to produce proper sound if your vocal cords are not working that is why that is the time when there is a lot of problem 
it is many a times it is told that if you are if you are like speaking loudly for too long it affects the vocal cords drinking smoking speaking out for a long times long time speaking very very loudly differs these help, this affects our vocal cords uh, vocal cords in a different manner now places of articulation we have biblical dental aloe vera patel glottal now these are different parts of the speech in where you produce different ways of sound in which you produce the sounds which are very very different from each other we have syllable now what is syllable syllable is the word like we tell a syllable is a unit of organization of sequence of speech now it is a sequence it's a order now we tell clock clock is one word but the moment we tell furniture we divide the word fur ni chur so we are dividing the word into syllable we are dividing it into small units of organity we are dividing into smaller units we are dividing the words into smaller units next we tell modification mo di fi ke shan so we divide the word then we tell ten Ten. We are not dividing the word. It is just one syllable. Ten. But the moment we tell computer, I tell computer. So I'm just breaking the words into different syllables. I'm breaking the uh, words into uh, a word into three syllables. Computer. But the same word. If I tell fan, I'm not breaking one word into one syllable. It's it's already one syllable. So it is. a sequence how you are presenting the sequence and how you are breaking the word in notation the rate at which your vocal cords vibrates how fast we speak when we speak our mother tongue we have a tendency to speak very very fast but when we do not speak our mother tongue suppose we are speaking in different languages we have a different way of speaking if you are very fluent in english it's good but if you are not fluent in english we generally stop speak stop speak we think use so our tone also it's high it's fall it's low fall it's rise and fall so it happens in different ways or in different manners so in notation is actually the how the how the vocal cords are vibrating are you speaking too fast are you speaking too slow are are you speaking too softly so that is how your vocal cords seem to uh, go up and down